Hello friends, in our last lesson we learnt about Euclid's division algorithm for finding HCF. Say a fair occurs every 147 days in a city and a circus occurs every 196 days. If both the fair and the circus are taking place today, after how many days both of them will happen together again? For this, we need to find the LCM of 196 and 147, right? That is, we need to find at which multiple of theirs they will meet again. We can easily find the HCF using Euclid's division algorithm. If we put 196 and 147 in Euclid's division lemma, that is, we do 196 divided by 147, we get 196 equal to 147 into 1 plus 49. Now we take 147 and 49 and we do 147 divided by 49. We get 147 equal to 49 into 3 plus 0. So remainder is 0. So we stop here. So 49 is the HCF of 196 and 147. But what about LCM? Remember for any positive integers a and b, the product of their HCF and LCM is equal to the product of the two integers itself, that is a into b. So we know 49 is the HCF of integers 196 and 147. So using the above formula, we can find the LCM. So a is equal to 196, b is equal to 147. So HCF of 196 and 147 multiplied by LCM of 196 and 147 will be equal to 196 into 147. So we replace the value. HCF of 196 and 147 is equal to 49. So 49 into LCM is equal to 196 into 147. So LCM would be equal to 196 into 147 divided by 49. We know 196 by 49 is equal to 4, so it becomes 4 into 147, which means LCM is equal to 588. That is, LCM of 196 and 147 is 588. This means the fair and the circus will happen again after 588 days from today. So now you must be wondering, is it true for three or more numbers too? Let's verify. We take three random numbers, 16, 48, 56. Now we cannot use Euclid's division algorithm. So we can rely on prime factorization for finding HCF. So we f divide 16 in such a way that we get it as a product of factors. So 16 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 2 to the power 4. 48 can be represented as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 that is 2 to the power 4 into 3 and 56 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 which is 2, 2 to the power 3 into 7. So look prime factorization of every natural number is unique. We know that. In general prime factorization of a composite number x gives p1 into p2 into p3 etc where p1 p2 are prime factors in ascending order means their values are increasing. That is P2 is greater than P1, P3 is greater than P2 and so on. So now we are finding the HCF. So we take the common prime factors which is common in all the numbers. So we get in case of 16 which is 2 to the power 4, 48 which is 2 to the power 4 into 3 and 56 which is 2 to the power 3 into 7. We take the smallest powers common factor like for 2 the common factor between all the 3 and its smallest power is 3. So 2, 2 to the power 3 is there in all the 3 values. So HCF of all the 3 numbers would be 2 to the power 3 which is equal to 8. Now for, let us find LCM. For LCM we take the greatest power of every prime factor. So 2 to the power 4 into 3 into 7. So LCM would be 336. And HCF into LCM would be 8 into 336 which is 2688. 
and the product of all the three numbers would be 16 into 48 into 56 which is 43008 so the product of HCF and LCM in case of three numbers is not equal to product of the numbers this holds true only for two numbers so we can say prime factorization of a natural number is unique except for the order of its factors 12 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 it cannot be expressed as product of any other prime factors yes we can do 2 into 3 into 2 or 3 into 2 into 2 as multiplication is a commutative operation so that's all in this video bye bye